every time Dan leaves us. How we doing now? A well-spirited crowd, I see. And by that I mean well-spirited. Okay, new people, you have got to understand doing a show like this is proof that we're all going to hell someday. No, look, look, I know, I've accepted that I'm going to hell. I really have. Well, it, have you seen this place? I'm just really grateful it didn't happen last week. I'm really, I'm really glad because last week I had that week where I hit the frustration level. Some stuff just went kind of wonky. And by Wednesday, I was ready to just punch things. I did the minimum amount of work and I said, I'm out, mental health day. I went and had a chai. I had some lunch. I meditated a little. And I decided I needed a, like a novelty neuron, something different in my day. So I decided to go to the science museum. Get a little science. Johnny likes science. I know that. There he is. So we got a lot of people who are fans of science. I figured I'd try science for myself. It did not go well. Oh, no. Okay, the Science Museum is awesome. And, you know, I, I, and I mean the kind of awesome when you're stressed out and you just want to look at a bunch of cool stuff and not be involved. You just kind of want to sit back and enjoy <laughs> the, the, that's going on over there. That's good. And, and I started chilling out. I actually started unwinding. By the time I got to the planetarium at the top where they have all the projection screens, I was in a pretty good mood. And I, it's cool. It's really mellow. You got all these projections and Owen Wilson does the narration. So you're listening to Owen Wilson, you know, kind of like surfer. And I notice he has a lot of pauses in his dialogue. I'm not sure if it was an editing choice or a directorial choice, but it was like Owen Wilson playing William Shatner. <laughs> and after a while, and he's talking about the planets and space and things hurtling through the cosmos with these long pauses and at this point I'm, I'm afraid to say my improv brain turned back on Aww. and I start realizing I have time to throw entire bits in in between his sentences <laughs> and a short while later I do <laughs> and before I know it I'm drawing a crowd I'm not really thinking about it but I'm, I'm looking up at these a big ball of fire and I'm drawing a crowd and suddenly the sun is on screen and I'm like yes it's slightly hotter than Texas welcome to vacation spot hell I hear a half dozen inhalations and breath in front of me and one chuckle behind me. This here are important details. I look down and there are six kids doing this. And one kid doing this. I'll get back to him in a second. The woman who laughed behind me was actually the security guard for the area and she's trying to keep it together. And I look down at a little kid and I lock eyes with him. And I mean, he's like Batman. He's just... You said a bad word! <laughs> At this point, I lose it. I do. I lose it, and they escort me from the planetarium. <laughs> They're like, sir, we're going to have to ask you to go. I'm trying to keep it together, but this is the funniest thing ever. This kid, honestly, whatever his beliefs on good and bad words, apparently the word planetarium is naughty. I'm not sure. Whatever it was, I said... Oh, I get, I get what I did. But, but I, I ended up leaving... And, and, and by the time I left, I, my mood was lifted by this absurdity that I, I had been chastised by baby Batman. <laughs> the rest of my week flew by, and before I knew it, I found myself at World Circus Day. Were you there? <laughs> New people, so you understand, Princess Stephanie of Monaco recognized us for four years of being involved with circus around the world. It was amazing. We had this huge crowd come out. We, we got photos. There's going to be stuff. For, for those of you who know our website, you're going to see a bunch of photos and video going up really soon as soon as we go through the massive backlog. But I was out there. And while I was out there, I was almost killed. I was attacked by a chihuahua on a unicycle. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I should be clear. I should be clear that I was on the unicycle and the chihuahua attacked me. That, that, that was a little better. But, but it still brought mortality to mind. They have really big teeth. With little legs, though, so the unicycle just poof, down the road, no problem. <laughs> so I got to thinking about the fact that that could have been the moment I died. And if I had actually died there, I would have gone to hell as expected of me. Where right now, instead of hosting the show, I'd be waiting in line. You know hell has lines. Can you imagine orientation to hell, two guys in front of me? What did you do? <clears throat> I ate 100 babies and I was killed by a SWAT team. Very well done. Inside you go. 
Next one would come up and I go, what did you do? Uh, I raped, pillaged, and burned at the stake on the last one. That's why I'm here. Well, very well done or medium rare, Mr. Crispy. Inside you go. <laughs> then they go up to me and they go, what did you do? And I'd be like, what did you do? I said a bad word and I was killed by a chihuahua on a unicycle. <laughs> and the demons in hell would look at me and they would say, was the chihuahua on the unicycle? <laughs> no. Back of the line, clown! <laughs> I know eventually I will hit the winter of my life and I'll head south for the winter, and when I do, I'm going to take every one of my damnation stories with me. But in the meantime, I'm going to bring them all here for your amusement at the open stage. Welcome. Welcome.